How's it going boys and girls? My name is Kawi and welcome back to the Care Club. If you are struggling to get experience points to unlock your favorite cutesy animal, this video will show you how I set up my animal farm to level up automatically so you guys can enjoy your games better. So with that, let's get started. When you first started the game, just like everybody else including me, we all started at level 1 with the cow. The first thing I do is to get really frustrated because I really wanted the chicken. They're cuter and smaller and you're stuck with the cow. Not that there's anything bad with the cow, they're just not that great for getting experience points in the very beginning. And since you're stuck with it, the second best option for getting experience points is to harvest it from bees by sticking your hands inside of the hive and grab their honeycomb. It's a very very smart idea if you think about it. If you didn't know that bee existed in the game, well now you know. And the way to attract them is very very simple. All you have to do is find flowers on your island and not keep them inside your inventory. Put them back on your island next to a tree. And if you leave that flower there under a tree long enough, bees will start to come out from the tree to collect pollens from the flowers and bring it back to the hive. And that is your chance to go up there, put your hands in there and grab your honeycomb. Now remember, you still got your cows hanging around. Don't forget about her. Give her some love once in a while and feed her some weeds and she'll give you some experience points in return. Now not that those experience points are astronomical, but they still count towards your animal care level. So pet her, feed her whenever you can. And if you find her really annoying, you can always just sell it. Now of course this is not automatic, but this is a good start. The only thing that stands between you and the farm is reaching to level 20 in animal care. What you really want to do is unlock chicken nest because the nest is your holy grail to unlocking the powers of an XP farm. So once you have the chicken nest going, the trick is to set up your farm. Now I will tell you this, the system that you're about to hear is not entirely automatic. However, you can set it up so that you don't have to worry about it as much. So making it seem like it is automatic. So instead of constantly feeding your chicken every 10 seconds, you only need to feed your chicken once a day. That way it will be much easier to level up versus you having to stand there right next to your chicken and feeding them all the time. And that's not fun. So the setup will look like this. You need a dedicated space on your island to hold all of your chickens, however many that you think that they are going to be. You need a big plot with a lot of troughs and place them vertically to save space and put berries inside of all of them. You want to have about 10 to 20 of them filled with their yummy berries so your chicken can go and feed themselves whenever they want. Once they finish eating, after a short period of time, they're going to start laying eggs and the process will just keep repeating itself. Very simple, right? So once you have the trough set up, the next part is to place nests all over the place. Stuff them in places wherever you think your chicken can go. Any cracks, put one nest there just in case. With this setup in place, all you need to do is fill up the trough and walk away. And the next time you visit your chicken is to take their eggs and give them more food. And the process repeats. Over time, you're going to find yourself leveling up without you realizing it. Now if you think that this is a brilliant idea, give a like and subscribe as a token of appreciation. But WAIT! Isn't there an even faster way to get more experience points like farming the cow, sheep or pigs? The answer is absolutely. Chicken is considered a small animal, however cow, sheep and pigs are considered large animals and you can have both of them on your island at the same time. However, there is a catch. You can only choose between a pig or a sheep because cow is really hard to farm. Sorry cow, nothing really against you, you're just really hard to deal with. If you choose a sheep, you need a lot of scratchers to pick up the wools. And if you choose the pig, you need a lot of truffle buckets. Both are expensive to make, but the reward is that you get a lot of XP and items in return. If you can't do that yet, just farm the chickens for now. Chickens are friendly, they dominate the world, if you have enough of them. So the setup is exactly the same as the chicken farm. Instead of nest, you place scratchers for the sheep, truffle buckets for the pigs. Also for the pigs, you need to place trees around them, otherwise they cannot find the truffles. So when you're placing scratchers and truffle buckets, make sure that you place them one block apart from each other, because what I find is that when you place them too close, your pigs or sheep tend to get stuck on them. And when they get stuck, they just get stuck there for a long time and they can't really move. So that means that they're not going to eat and they're not going to give you any truffles, they're not going to give you any wolves, 
which is going to waste your time completely. So once you have both the chicken and pig slash sheep farm, you got yourself the ultimate semi-automatic animal farm. And that's all for today boys and girls. That is how you make your animals farm for you automatically. If you enjoyed this video, give me your thoughts and comments below. If you want to chat, join the Care Club Discord server. The link is in the description. I'm there all the time to answer any of your questions, as long as it's not give me a smelter type of questions. So thank you boys and girls for watching, and I'll see you in the next video in-game or at the Care Club. Take care everybody.